And they're back my snowberry. And you can see here last November, it's holding on to a lot of its leaves. It's looking all right, it's developing quite nicely. Surprisingly in December, it still has a lot of its leaves, but it's usually quite mild up until this point. But that doesn't last forever. And by February, it's lost all its leaves, which will allow us to have a look at the structure. But more importantly, it's a good time to trim this tree back. I'm just gonna start by removing that large dead stub that's been sat atop the tree for a couple of years now. I kept it for so long as I was deciding what to do with it, but I don't think there's much use for it. So it's just better that it's gone. This tree is a very fast grower and it sends out shoots all over the place, which means I usually have to trim it back quite hard and remove a lot of branches that are just growing in strange places. You can see afterwards it looks pretty bare, but this tree will explode with growth in the spring. So pruning it back this hard will actually be needed. Over the long run, it will help it have a better structure. And if we look at the trunk here, you'll see it's quite interesting. One side of it seems to have died and rotted away, which has left it with some pretty interesting texture. I'm sure that won't last forever, but for now it's pretty cool. In March, the tree is starting to wake up. It might be a little hard to see here, but there are a few buds swelling and a couple are almost open which of course means it's a good time to repot. It's a fast grower and it's in a small pot, so I know it's going to be packed with roots. You can maybe see the swelling buds a little better here. It's definitely the right time for this work. I started by just raking the top layer of soil away to try and loosen things up. Luckily it came out very easily, but it is a solid block of roots. I then just tried to loosen everything up and free all the soil, which wasn't too difficult. It seemed to untangle pretty easily. It looks more dense than what it actually is, which is probably made easier by using good soil. After a bit of effort I was left with this. It's pretty long on earth control, but it's actually not too bad. It really just needs trimmed back. There doesn't appear to be any huge problem areas. And here it is after the cutback. I really just cut everything short and that was about it. There are still a lot of roots left and I just trimmed it. So I'll get it back in the pot and still have plenty of space for it to grow into. I also put it back in the same pot. I think it looks good in there. It's maybe a little small for a tree I'm trying to develop, but it seems happy enough, so I'll just go with it for now. I think if it was in a bigger pot, it may get too out of control. But I think it's better to develop it slowly, but properly, rather than just letting it beef up super fast. At the end here I'm just poking the soil down just to make sure it's in between all the roots. I just did this off camera for the rest of the pot, just to make sure the soil was all settled in all the way around. Here it is in April, where you can see the leaves are really starting to open and it looks happy enough after that repot. By May it seems fully awake and looking great, 
And it's actually growing very strong, which is exactly what I want to see. In June, I'm going to prune it. It's not crazy out of control, but some areas are a little stronger than others. So I want to balance things out. The growth is also very small and compact, so it's a little hard to tell that some areas are more aggressive than others. I also get quite a short growing season here, so if I do it now, we'll have plenty of time to recover. And as you can see, I didn't actually remove too much. It was just a few strong shoots that were taken away. It's not much happening in July, which is to be expected, but it's healthy and that's all that matters. In August, it doesn't look like much has changed, but there is a lot going on. There's a lot of small buds opening, and again, the foliage is very small and compact, but you can see that bottom branch is a whole lot denser than it was last month. In September, it's gonna be slowing down quite a lot now and it's probably stopped growing for the year. It looks like the top didn't develop too much, but that's all right. It will grow more next year. It wasn't a fantastic summer here, so I'm not too worried. And here we are now where it's stopped growing, but still holding on to some of its leaves as autumn approaches. Thanks for watching. See you next time.